I really did not know mm. a lot about um, the Muslim faith until you started teaching me. Yeah, you know, I have a problem with that topic. And um, it's a shame because the problem is that. Han Meditation. All right, guys, today we have a special treat. We actually have my mother on, who's a devout and very strict Christian on the show. And she has actually taught me everything I know about whenever it comes to religion and spirituality. So we're actually going to get into this video. I want to show her kind of what we're doing on our channel. Mm -hmm. And we'll go from there. And uh, so, yeah, let's watch this video. This is the Mathematical Miracles of the Quran. Now, you don't know too much about the Quran, right? Right. So, but you know people that are Muslim and you have some familiarity with the religion itself. Absolutely. So, all right, let's just watch it and then see what you Check think. Check it out. Now, there are some mathematical miracles of the Quran. <sighs> Throughout all the Quran, if you count some specific words, you will come across to, a very, to very meaningful results. I would like to give you some examples. For instance, if you count the word punishment in the Holy Quran, throughout the whole Quran it is repeated some 117 times. Whereas the word forgive is repeated some 234 times inside the whole Quran. 234 if you multiply 117 by 2, you're going to have 234. It is very meaningful. Why? Because Quranic morality, Allah recommends, Allah orders believers, Allah orders Muslim, Muslims to forgive rather than punishing. It is very meaningful. Moreover, Allah orders to our Prophet, say, it is repeated some 332 times. And the response, they said, it is again equally repeated some 332 times. The words world and, and hereafter, they are repeated 115 times equally. Devil and angel, those two words are equally repeated some 88 times. Now, heaven and hell, those two words are equal, equally repeated 77 times. Zikah. Zakah is an Arabic word, its translation is donation. The financial donation that a Muslim is supposed to give to poor. And it is repeated 32 times. And the barakah, the blessing that comes out of giving a donation to a poor, it is repeated 32 times. It is equally repeated. It is very meaningful again. Now, summer, hot, and winter cold, those words are equally repeated five times. And richness and poverty, those two words, it is very interesting. Rich, richness is repeated 26 times, whereas the poverty is half of 26, which is 13. And woman and man, those are repeated equally 23 times. Well, do you know any idea what those numbers represent? Well, let me remind you, if you remember from the chromosome numbers of a human being, from the previous slides, a human body contains 46 different chromosomes. That comes the half of this 46, which is 23, comes from the father. And the other half, which is 23, comes from the mother. Whereas, you got the same repetition number for woman, woman and man. 23 and 23. If you add 23 to 23, you're going to have 46, which will give you the chromosome number of a human being. Now, finally, I would like to give you the meaning of land and sea. Land is repeated 13 times, whereas the word sea repeated 32 times. Well, at first sight, it doesn't seem to be very meaningful. However, if you do a simple math, you're going to have 13. If you add 32, you're going to have 45 as for the result. And the percentages, if you divide 13 to 45, you're going to have 28,88%. And 32 to 45, as for the word C, you're going to have 71,11%. Now, do you have any idea what those percentages represent? Well, I'll tell you, those numbers will give you the, all the lands all over the world on the earth occupies 28,88% of the whole earth. And all the seas, oceans, rivers, all the water 
occupies 71,11% of the whole earth. Now again, these repetition numbers are very meaningful and it clearly represents us and gives us good scientific evidences that the Holy Quran is word of Allah. And it cannot be, definitely can't be a scripture of a man. This is not possible. So, for more information, I would highlight... All right, so what are your initial thoughts whenever you hear all that information? So I'll just give you a quick breakdown of what it, what it was saying. It was basically saying that forgive is 234 times and punishment is 117 times, which is basically saying that you should forgive twice as more as you condemn someone, essentially. And then also, one the biggest one that I thought was the 23 man and 23 woman. Mm -hmm. And then everyone knows that human beings have 46 chromosomes. Mm -hmm. And you get 23 from the man, 23 from the woman, which is something that they didn't even know 1,400 years ago whenever this was written. So what did you think about all that information? Well, I think that I'm open to learning. And I thought it was really... Um Interesting. What do you think about us learning about Islam and family members of people that convert to Islam at this time? Yeah, you know, I have a problem with that topic. And um, it's a shame because the problem is that I'm so tired of everyone else having a problem with that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's nice. So you're open to basically other religions and the way people think because you were one of the people that does Reiki. Mm -hmm. So you've, you've been very into spiritual practices like Reiki that are all positive, that you can definitely 100% incorporate God into, that a lot of people don't even know about that. So what was your experience like maybe being one of the first people that was doing Reiki and learning about different spiritual practices like martial arts and stuff? Because people don't know you're a black belt in Hapkido as well. So. While still being a religious woman, going to church and praising God. How is it combining mm. those two worlds? Yeah, so I am a fourth degree black belt. Mm. And um, yes, growing up, I grew up in a Pentecostal church. And that was a very strict church. Um, and we were talked about, people talked about us because if we wore pants, it was frowned upon. Mm. So um, For wearing pants? Yeah. Couldn't you couldn't wear, wear pants. pants like you outside of church or in church? You couldn't wear pants at all. What would you wear? Hostel. You had to wear dresses. Sure. Oh, really? Mm. You had to wear dresses all the time. We couldn't go to movies. We could not cut our hair. Mm -hmm. We um, couldn't even go get our hair done to get it cut. So wow. it was a very strict um, upbringing. Mm. And I didn't agree with a lot of the practices. But like I said, I have issues that people, when you say Muslim and then mm. you say Christianity, they immediately start thinking negative. Yep. Mm. And it's sad because all mm. the Muslims I know are positive people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And that's that's basically what we've been trying to show on our channel as well, mm -hmm. is that you can think something different, but God is just God. No matter what religion you worship or whatever, and especially Abrahamic religions, whether it's Judaism, Christianity or Islam, it's all the same God. And there can only be one God anyways. So to me, Christianity and Islam are very, very close to being the same thing. And yeah. even in Islam, they believe that Jesus is the Messiah. They just don't believe that he is literally the son of God, but they believe that God created him out of the immaculate conception, essentially, they just, cre God created him to come down and be here at this time. And he's going to come even in the end times. Mm -hmm. Muslims believe that. Yeah. Well, I'm going to tell you that I really did not know mm. a lot about um, the Muslim faith until you started teaching me. Mm. And I thought that I needed to learn a, a little bit more because mm. ignorance is not good. Right. I didn't know anything. You know, I all. really didn't know anything mm. about it much either. Like I said, mm. but a lot of my friends are and they're mm. super awesome people. So that I knew it couldn't have been like too bad. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, growing up, everyone thought I was pretty weird growing up because I was doing Reiki. I was mm -hmm. doing martial arts, but all of this still incorporating the one and only God. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Jesus was my father, my savior. So mm -hmm. I pray to Jesus every day. Yeah, we definitely mm -hmm. appreciate that. And uh, so my mother, she's always been taking people in her entire life. She's always been showing kindness to everyone around her and everything that she does. She brings God into the room and light into the room. So we're so grateful to have her here on the channel. 
And if you guys want to see more stuff like this, definitely let us know. But we're so happy to bring her on here. We're going to have to show her more videos and do a mm-hmm. podcast with her where she can really talk about more about Christianity and what she knows about religion and her relationship with God. So thank you guys for watching. This is basically what our show was about, just bringing people together and allowing everybody to be really just learn more about God together. So if you guys want, you can definitely you don't have to, but you can donate in our uh, PayPal or Cash App. But all you just being here and commenting and liking the videos, all you need to do. So thank mm-hmm. you guys so much for watching. Thank and we'll you. See, we'll you see you in the, the next, next one. Video. Thank you for being here. Thank you, guys.